are you gonna have more kids? <laughs>
bacon, whatever else, but for most like of the weekdays, that has been like a huge help just because it's been so easy. They get up, play, have their breakfast, have their time, and then I don't have to get up as early. And on the days they do wake up super early, that is like a lifesaver, I'm telling you. Okay, second thing, shoes. Shoes are always a wreck in our house, and I feel like we try really hard at keeping them organized. Um, I got this bin, I think it's for like toys or whatever, someone gave it to me. They no longer needed it. And today they're not really that organized, but usually, like the top row is Zoe's, the girls can get their on shoes and they can also put away their on shoes. So this part is like, Allie is like my organizer. She will come in here um, different days of the week and she'll be like, mom, I wanna surprise you, go out, I'm gonna surprise you. I want you to watch me like when I finish and she'll like come in and be super proud of herself for organizing all the shoes according to like who's they, who's they are. I used to have like labels on them as well, but those kind of rubbed off over time. Um, I'm packing up Zoe's 18 month clothes. That's why all of this is like sitting out. Oh, what? What's not working? Allie's doing her school in the other room, so they're actually watching Baby Bum. Your baby bum's not working? Yeah. I'm so sorry. Hi, May. We're ready I know. This, I made mean myself, but a hair bow rack is always super easy. It makes things flow a little better. All right, last but not least, this is, I feel like, the most important to keeping the house organized. The toy shelf. Okay, so this is how we organize our toys. I start out, if you have bins, if you have an option to have something like this where you can have bins, I highly recommend it. It makes organizing so much easier and the kids can actually learn how to do it themselves and then you don't have to constantly do all of the work. A lot of times I do help them clean up because it makes things go a little faster, but Allie actually is a fantastic cleaner and organizer. She knows where all of these toys go and she can do them almost completely on her own and it can help Lexi and Zoe as well. So I labeled them originally, like I had a bucket for balls and then a bucket for like baby dolls, um, a bucket for all of their doll house accessories, like um, little couches and beds and stuff like that. Um, then like a baby bucket for like newborns that have easier little chewy toys or whatever else. And then um, dishes. So I labeled them and had them labeled for several you did not months. Do the PG one. Oh yeah, this is just like a miscellaneous, more for like boy toys and stuff when they have cousins who come over and want toys that are not girly. <laughs> um, anyway, I labeled them for several months and once they memorized what it was, I then pulled the labels off because they don't need them anymore and they know where all of the toys go. This really is like all of the toys that they have. I don't keep much more than this just because I would rather them, like they don't really play with it that much. I mean, they play with toys, but you know how kids are. When they go to someone else's house, it's the newest and the greatest, but when they're here, and it's their toys that they see every day. They would rather do a craft or a project or something like that. So our house is pretty small. We don't really have um, a ton of room. So this just has worked and they keep all their favorite toys and then when something kind of, they've used it for a while and they've decided they're no longer gonna play with it, we will give it to a cousin or someone in the family who it's a new toy for them and they wanna play with it. So. If you have any other, I will show you Allie's school area because this did help as well recently. So I organized Mom, out, I got this little crate um, at Office Depot I think, but I saw it on Amazon and some other places that are really easy. So I organized all of these things for her and then also they have buckets that have school accessories in them. So as far as the school area goes, it's kind of the same. Everything's organized out. What you doing? Doing 
in school. Oh, okay. Is it too hard or something? How come you're pouting? I'm not. Oh, you don't look happy? Oh, there you go. There's your smile. If you guys have any questions, or if you literally, he's the best. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, look at this. Get you one of those. Get you a brother to come visit that does the dishes. Oh, and a brother right there too. I mean, get him too. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not just bragging on him. You're pretty awesome too. Sometimes, sometimes. I'm not as good at dishes as Isaiah is though. No, they're really handy to have. Anyway, if you have any questions or any tips that you have for me or things that have worked, especially with laundry, um, leave a comment or message me on Instagram. And if you would like to see something different that you saw in the house that maybe I did not cover, um, let me know. And we'll see what I can do next time. Are you single? Yes, I am single. Ready to mingle? You can say that. <laughs> He's 18 now. Single. Ladies, single. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs>